Hey everybody, how we doing today? Another gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. Bam! I'm over here at the bait shop. Look at a massive amount of pilchards still hanging around. Bunch of uh, tarpon still here. Oh, here. Oh, that's a snook. That's a snook there. Where's tarpon at? There's tarpon over there. But uh, I'm gonna give these guys a break. I've already shown I could dominate those juvenile tarpon with my fly fishing skills. So uh, we are actually gonna do an air fry, catch an air fry today. So I'm actually over here to actually utilize the bait shop, pick up some pilchards. I just brought my two uh, spinning rods and my heavy anchor. So we're gonna go hit the seven mile bridge. Well, I got one chum block and yeah, catch me some 13, 14, 15 inch uh, snapper and uh, throw it in the old air fry, a different recipe. So that's the plan. And got the decent sized snook there, tarpon there. They're hanging out together. There's another snook there. Um, key thing is when you get these schools like this is just don't throw right away. Size them up. So we got some medium smalls. Uh, they're the uh, razor bellies. And then if you get up to here, these are the larger razor bellies. I'm pretty sure they're not sandy keys, but it's good to be picky depending on what size you're going to actually use them for. All right, let's get ready to throw on these guys. I think I'm going to grab this bunch right here. Nice and easy. Trying to get a mixture of sandy keys and the larger razor bellies. I think we did a good job there. Oh, oh. Yeah, looks good. Some in the cooler. Some in the bottom here. And I think we are one and done. And get on out of here. All right, we're all loaded up, so let's go hit the bridge. And then I'll probably have time and I'll come by and uh, play with the snook and uh, tarpon and call it a day. So let's head on out of here. And we're just gonna cruise along, look for a good spot. Seeing if we find any fish, any structure. Because you have these every 40 feet, there's no real difference about them, so you gotta find which one's the best. I see these strings of uh, lobster buoys there and there, so there's gotta be some sort of edge. That's probably where I'm gonna check out. Guy diving over there. Got this solid weed line coming through here. Goes all the way out to the reef, probably. Now I'm stuck in it. Uh. Kind of makes a wonder why it picks this specific slot to go under if there's something that is special about this see a lobster trap i like that grassy bottom over here that's actually a good sign i might just fish right over here just get onto uh, one edge of it because I like the turtle grass down there. It's fairly deep water. If I can escape the weeds. I'll drive around here and take a look at these side pillars. I think this might be our spot. The other thing I'm doing is looking at the bottom here to see if I can see any schools of fish. 
regardless of size, if I see a big school, it doesn't matter what, that's just gonna be a spot that attracts life. A little bit of stuff down there. All right, we made the long run over here to the cut. That's the overpass for the seven mile bridge. That's the launch way over there. That's old Pelican Island or whatever, Albatross Island. And then Marathon is just beyond that, not too far. So I might play around here a little bit. This is where the big ships pass through. It's about the only real structure besides the actual bridge. Just don't want to get uh, run over by an ocean liner. Maybe we'll play around here. I'll go on the back side and anchor up over there. I don't think I want to anchor up in the middle of this channel. <laughs> Let's take a look and swing around there. Yeah, maybe I'll just like anchor up around here somewhere. Run the chum against that. Yeah, I think that'll work. That's all we'll do. We'll just anchor up kind of there, have Chum drifting back into that spot, pull out some fish. It's not super deep, it's probably 10 foot. Grassy bottom, that looks good. All right, I think we have a plan. All those beams, a good structure. Undercut over here. Yeah, that's Goliath Grouper heaven down there. Alright, we are anchored up. I think we're a pretty good spot. I could go a little bit closer to get more chum through there, but then again a big old boat will come by and that wouldn't be good. They're not exactly going to stop for me. So let's drop some bait, some chum, and then get to some fishing. All about the bait, three quarter inch mesh, the go-to standard. And over we go. Chums away. Bring me them fishies. Oh, look at all of them. What are those, chubs? Hopefully not chubs. Yeah, it looks like chubs already. That's not good. Stinking chubs.
seeing how the drift is going that'll work all right i basically just brought the two rods today since i knew i was going to be baiting it uh, i've just got a four out circle hook just to the uh, leader there and then i've got a knocker rig uh this is a one ounce uh might need to go to two ounce we'll see four out circle hook uh just basically top and bottom of the water column we'll see what uh where the fish are at that'll determine what we're going to use i'm thinking because of these chubs i see some blue runners coming as well that uh, the bottom is probably best that's where we're going to find the snappers hanging out and back this is where a nice pinfish would be probably the best since the uh, chubs won't mess with them but let's drop a bait back and see what's down there I think I see some uh, some stripes that would be like a mangrove oh something's biting it biting it biting it I'm taking it there we go fish on First bait down, and that's our mangrove. Did I snag them? Foul hook them? Nope. And we got a good one already. So, probably wait for a little bit bigger, but nice little mangrove. One bait, one fish. Man, they got some big chubs down there get a little bit farther behind them gets to the bottom let a little bit of line out something's playing with it something's grabbed it something's taken it did it eat it swimming with it just stole it yeah that's gonna be the problem with the pilchards these guys are just gonna steal them playing with it I think they already took it thieves dirty stinking thieves oh no he's on there we go Another mangers. Nice. Getting better. Yeah, easy bud. Just gotta wade through and get our nice 13, 14 incher. Yeah, they're just ripping those pilchards off, but I brought those grunts that I caught last mangrove trip so i'm going to defrost these and then use these on the knocker rig just chunks of those but i'm going to try free lining past these and see what's out there all right we've got the weighted circle hook put a longer leader on since i'm free lining just throwing it back there just waiting for that line to run off Oh, I might have saw, saw a nice yellowtail down there. Yeah, I see some yellowtails in that mess. Nothing. Or does something eat it? See some longer stuff down on the bottom there. Oh, 
Oh, something had it. Something ate it the whole time. I bet you swallowed it. Yeah, swallowed her. That's why I wasn't getting anything. Might be able to get it back. Otherwise, free donation. Gotta watch out for them boats and them wakes. All right, you get to keep it. I gotta sit down anyways. Ugh. see what you are man those sergeant majors he's a pretty big one it's not what I'm wanting though good size matches my shirt look at them fangs that yeah, matches my shirt perfect all right I'm going to do one more and then uh, start cutting up those uh, grunts. And I think that's going to be the key to our success to get past. All this garbage fish here. All right, now we're ready. Got a chunk of grunt knocker rig. Going to get this guy on the bottom here. Get it past him. got thicker skin so it's harder to pull off gonna have to be a little bit more patient on the hook set I'm just gonna try a couple baits if there's just nothing but those uh who was that over there I'm not getting any decent sized snappers I'm gonna head out of here before I lose the rest of this chum to these chubs something's picking at it Playing with it, playing with it, taking it, taking it. There it goes. Drifting it back with the weighted circle hook. There's our mangrove, but not bad, but not the right size we want. I think we're going to move too much junk over here. All right, moving on. I found this big old pipe line across there. It's a little different. Might give it a shot. I'm just waiting for the current to uh, the tide change. Uh, it'll start going from the uh, Gulf side to outgoing to the Atlantic, which we want. So it should be pretty close to changing over. I think we're kind of at slack tide now, which is about right so I'm just kind of holding off and dropping anchor on this side because there's still a little bit of current going that way because as soon as it stops and I'm gonna have to go to the other side anyways check out this pipe over here saw a bunch of fish swimming off of it but it might have been chubs that pipe there there's some fishies on there I think those might be grunts more fishies there Yeah, you can kind of see all the little fishies there. A little angel fish, or big angel, angel, angel fish. Yeah, there's a bunch of little fishies there. Ah, 
Oh, look at that big old Goliath grouper. Big old chunker. I don't want anything to do with him. I don't want to feed him though. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that's a bigger one down there. Well, I anchored out here because the wind is blowing from the Gulf to the Atlantic, but the tide is still trickling Atlantic to the Gulf, so I haven't swapped yet. But I'm just kind of waiting it out on this side. All the chubs showed up immediately as soon as I put the chum bag down. See if anything uh, non-chubby shows up. need this current to turn before I run out of chum all right got our first bite I just threw a couple of pilchards out there on a circle hook while I was waiting for the current to turn and we've got another grunt I'm telling you all those grunts I saw they ate all the snappers. I'm going to keep this one just in case. Still waiting for that current to start running, but got to beat out this weather. See what comes first. I moved in closer, so I can, I'm pretty short run back in. So. Let's have to see what happens. Well, I think the tide finally started turning, but wind's picking up. I'm not seeing anything coming up to the chum. Even chubs aren't. So we might move even closer to the dock. Or maybe just call it a day. Might not just be mangrove weather. All right. We're going to do a Hail Mary here, see if we can get one of these tarpons to hit my dead pilchard. Some guys are at the launch stock, so it's going to be a little while. I figure I might as well see if I can play with these guys. Can't see very well though. I'm losing my son. Oh, there's one running there. Oh, there's one right in there. 
Oh, he's got my bait. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Did he spit it out? Or is he swimming with it? I think he's swimming with it. There he goes. Got him. <laughs> Hail Mary. Hail Mary works. Man, that's much easier than throwing a stinking schminnow fly. Just a dead pilcher and they suck it up. They're probably so tired of uh, chasing after all those 10,000 uh, pilchards and not getting any that a dead one sitting on the bottom is like, hell yeah! Ooh, nice healthy one. You got pilchards, buddy. Yeah, I had a bow that time. I think he donked himself in the head. I let you go. I want to catch one of them snook that are around here. <laughs> Yay. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, got him out of it. Trying to add another 10 pounds of weeds on him. Man. You're hooked. Using just a plain circle hook. Four aught. Get them at all about the bait a sample hook pack it has pretty much everything that you'll ever need in one pack hooks and weights man he is just relentless there we go i backed him up i got gotcha. you Alrighty, easy, easy, easy. I'll let you go. I got him in the jaw. Got you in the jaw. Can't grab you because the hook's there. Don't kick, don't kick. Don't kick. I don't want this hook in my thumb. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Gotta work together. There it goes. Come on, wake up, wake up. Oh, I gotta revive this guy. He's in shock. Oh, I guess not that in shock. Nice, Hail Mary. Da! Get another one. All right, so this is the basic rig there. Got our pilchard, four aught circle hook, go under the chin, out the little nose part there. That's the only hard spot on them is there from the uh, nose to the forehead there. So that's basically where the hook has to come out of. Otherwise, it'll just tear out of these baits. Got some 30 pound leader to some 20 pound braid. And that's the dude. That's all we got to do. I mean, you can see how much work it takes to throw the fly, the paddle tail, but you use some good natural bait and it's like a piece of cake. Not so fun after the first one, but it's good to have a challenge sometime. So let's see if we can get another one, because those guys are stuck. I wonder if their truck is in the water. Oh well, I got time. Check this out, these snappers are like, boom, gone. Hits the water and bam. <laughs> I'm gonna catch one. Alright. And 
waiting for it, waiting for it. Playing with it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Got it. Eating it, eating it. There it goes. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Bassmaster 5000, yeah. <laughs> I got you. You got godded. I win. All right, we are done. Got the beautiful sunset there. Looks like I'm going home hungry unless I want to eat some pilchards. <laughs> but uh, got a couple of good Hail Marys there. Got that nice tarp in. Played with some snappers. So all in all, good day. Uh, I just wasted too much time earlier making that long run to the split there. I should have just stayed inside and took advantage of the good, uh, good winds. I didn't know it was going to pick up later in the evening, otherwise I would have just scrambled real quick. But, oh well, fun day on the water. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.